Hey everybody, Jimbo here, back with another booster box opening. Today, not of one of the usual booster boxes, I'm actually going to be opening up Luck and Logic. So this is the second booster set of Luck and Logic. Uh, it's called Believe and Betray. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about Luck and Logic, who have never heard of it, it was one of the many unfortunate, uh, I shouldn't say unfortunate, but unfortunately it's it's no longer an active TCG and it was uh, developed and published by Bushi Road, which you may know as the creators of Future Card Buddy Fight, which is no longer active, as well as Card Fight Vanguard, which is active and rather healthy to this day. Uh, the game was launched, I believe, in 2016, and unfortunately it got its last booster set, Trans uh, Reunion 2, which was a special booster set, um, only like one or two years later, I think it was like 2018. Uh, so the game didn't last very long. It had a uh, it had an anime that went with it as a promotional uh, kind of side gig. You know how Bushi Road likes to market their stuff, and I'm not really sure why it failed. You know, I looked into it. I watched I watched a good amount of the anime. I didn't finish it. I'm still watching it. Uh, I'm not sure why it failed. I saw a few reasons that people had suggested. They'd said stuff like, oh, you know, it was. You know, they were only marketing on waifus. Some people said that people, like, some people had said that there were too many mechanics. Uh, some people said the market was oversaturated. And the reason that I'm opening this is because I want you guys to just get a look at, you know, a card game that I consider to, you know, at first glance you'd look at it and you'd be like, this looks fine. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this card game. I, you know, why in particular did this card game fail? You know, just to give you an idea of, you know, we have like the big three. We have, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering and Pokemon in no particular order. Um, but we've also got other stuff, you know, there's there's Flesh and Blood. Um, now there's MetaZoo. Uh, there's another Kickstarter game, Final Redemption. Um, you know, there's Shadowverse, which is digital. There's Hearthstone, which is digital. There's all sorts of card games out there. And people often only look at the major three. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, Dragon Ball Super's card game as well. Um, and of course card fight Vanguard which I mentioned earlier but the point is that there's there's a lot of stuff out there and it's very easy to look at the pack I like I actually kind of like it. it's so neat um, it's very easy to miss them and you know a lot of people will be like I don't want to get into a card game that's not tested judge your logic oh look trans schema um, a lot of people will be like I don't want to get into a card game that's not tested because if I get into a card game that's not tested then if it's not established, you know, maybe it won't succeed and it'll be a waste of my time. But it's that mentality <laughs> that often, you know, can prevent a card game from being successful. If you see something and you think it looks interesting, just hop into it. You know, there's always a starter deck. There's always some kind of trial deck. We've got our box topper, hearts as one mana. There's always some kind of, you know, introductory product that you can buy that is cheap and affordable. There's 20 packs in a box. Um, and I don't know, I just say go for it because then you just, you know, you have all these things. That, I mean, I still like to go back and open these card games and, you know, check out the art and see what's good with it. I mean, I'm sure you could find people who still want to play Luck and Logic, but it'd be a very, it'd be a very niche group. It'd be a very niche group. This pack opens a little weird. Alright, I have never opened Luck and Logic cards. I've been having this on my shelf for a while, so... The name on the side I'm not a huge fan of. Looking for a Covenanter Olga, I remember him. Okay, so we've got... I wonder if that's the same as like a critical trigger type thing, but... Presumably that's... yeah, that's their power, that's their aura. I wonder if that's their aura color. That is like their type, because the border's all green. And they have, you know, the same continuous and auto effects, uh, like, design text as Vanguard. So it's a level 1 logic list with zero cost. We've got Philanthropism Venus, who is a foreigner. Okay, so foreigners in this world, if I remember correctly, foreigners are like the spirits that logic lists summon from another world. Like, they make a pact with them, and they basically use them for their power. So it's, I mean, I guess you could argue it's like a stand from JoJo, if that makes it easier. Uh, so we got Lady Like Day Off, Veronica. So I should look. So at the bottom here, we've got, of course, the design and illustrator credits, and we've got uh, it's an uncommon. Okay, so the rarity is at the bottom. Proficient Command Yoshichika. He's the main character. 
Double rare, we have Sublime Val Athena. And this is a, what is this, PXC? I actually don't know what that is. Paradox rule or a battle, so it's Satan's birthday. Yeah, I have to look into that. So that's kind of like a Weiss, I suppose. I'm not really a fan of the landscape cards, but it is a thing with these uh, more weeby card games. So we have three day feast. Close encounters of the third kind of Valkyrie. Oops, my bad. We have bullet from high altitude mana. Just like a sniper, if I remember correctly. Even though she has like a submachine gun type of thing there, or a battle rifle. Under the cherry blossoms, Athena. Friendship chocolate, Chloe. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder if every one of these packs has a landscape stock card. Paradise together, Lucifer. He's a rare. And another Satan's birthday. So let me actually put those there. And I assume the highest rarity is triple rare for this game, unless they have all sorts of wacky stuff like Vanguard. The game didn't last very long, so I would assume no. But, you know, I, I could easily be wrong. Actually, let me, let me see, because I did have a card list up there for a second. I don't remember if it had a... Any rarities on it? Rarity S. Okay, so there's secret rare. There's SCR. Alright, well, let's see. We'll figure it out as we go. So we got Snake God Ketsy. Shiori's Welcome. Ruler of Sept Heaven Lucifer. Mission Success. So, what type of card? Oh, Tactics card. Okay. Alka's number one aggressor, Chloe. If I remember correctly, she's the one who, uh, her... Her foreigner is, uh, Valkyrie. Breaking out of her shell, Mana. That's a regular rare. And we've got End of Guilty. So as a brief aside from these packs, I actually placed an order for some, uh, some of my more, uh, weeby card games. This week I've got, uh... The latest booster set of Digimon Battle of Omni coming. I also have a box of Great Legend for Digimon. That's the previous set, BTO4. And I ordered finally uh, a booster box of a Brush with the Legends, which is the most recent Vanguard set. It's definitely a few weeks late, uh, but I'm excited to uh, see what I pull from there. Alright, and so we have Target and Sight Mana. It's a fight, Yukari. She's the one who gets Ketsy. Waiting for her Q, Chloe. Despair of Destruction, Olga. Oh, wow. Does he end up getting Lucifer? Is that what happens? Wow, that's a spoiler. Lovely Dressed Tamaki. I, need, I, need to, I do need to finish that show. Arrogant Olga. Yeah, he definitely gets Lucifer. He, that's a double rare. And Madness Jail. And these booster boxes are actually pretty affordable on eBay. I got this one for like $35, I think. So we got Goddess of Anger and Punishment Nemesis. I don't know if this game has like a market, though, like an aftermarket. That I'm unsure of. I'm not doing 5 and Up Club for this because it would be a nightmare to find the prices because they're not all like localized on like TCG Player. So we got Supporting Mana Artemis. Power Taken In Athena. Victory Together, Tamaki. Many Bombs, Veronica. Yeah, Veronica's wild, I remember that. Eroding Darkness, Olga, as a rare. And Patriot Smash. Depending on when I get those boxes in, I might do another video this week, just because I'm very, uh, <laughs> I'm very eager to open them. Uh, Tenacious Fortification, Yoshichika. Wounded Headstrong, Veronica. Serious Effort, Olga. Piercing Faith, Chloe. Patient Gunpoint, Mana. Got a rare here, which is Fluttering Whip of Love, Tamaki. And our... 
portrait card is Stardust Archery, which I guess is our Paradox card. I guess, it's, oh, I guess that's what they're called. They're called Paradox cards. Peaceful day off, Tamaki. I do feel like maybe this, like, these cards, like, all of the way everything is framed around it might feel, like, a little complicated to people. Like, I, I do think there's a possibility that maybe this, like, this game, like, has, like, a lot going on in its cards, like, visually, but also the fact that, you know, for Luck and Logic, like, it's cool that they had a show for it, but... You know, the show, like, it was the characters in the show. So the show was going to have to be, like, very, very... Like, it was going to have to be a long-running show and a very successful show to be a successful card game because everything they were grabbing as source material for these cards, these are all characters and things from the show. So that could definitely be a reason that it had a rough time. You know, something like Vanguard, you know, they just make up whatever they want. You know, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, well not Pokemon, Pokemon they have to draw from the games, but I mean there's so many Pokemon and they just, you know, they do them in different ways, they give them different attacks. But for something like this, you know, you're very limited by the cast of characters in the show, and that might have definitely been a contributing factor. You have You Won't Get Away, Yukari. Say, uh, Staying Smile Mana. Lure of Minefield, Veronica. Opening the Gates to Other Worlds, Lucifer. Got a double rare, Pain, Pain, Go Away, Tamaki. It's a little foil card. And our Paradox card is Gigantamachia. I've been waiting to open this set for the longest, man. This, this box. It's just been there for so long and I was always like... Who's gonna know what this is? <laughs> like, no one's gonna know what this is. Are they even gonna care? Um, but I've been curious for a while, honestly, myself. Seasoned Warrior Clown Veronica. Uh, easiest Pie Chloe. Oh, darn. I pulled up so many cards at once there. Infer and Go Valkyrie. Rapid Fire Mana. Opportunity and a Pinch Yukari. We have a regular rare, Saber Dance Chloe, and a Paradox card, Venomous Amphitheater. For a second behind it, I thought it was a foil card. We got Bullet from High Altitude Mana. Who's the next opponent, Tamaki? Easiest Pie, Chloe. Shrine Maiden of the Gods, Yukari. Repelling Evil, Tamaki. Fueled by Revenge, Veronica as a regular rare. And our Paradox card is Trick and Torment. So you'll see those Trans Union cards have like different numbers at the top left. And I'm wondering if they're like maybe like Vanguard grades. It's a, it's a card game that like I have an interest in knowing how it functions. But because there's no one that I imagine really plays it anymore, I don't know that there would be much of a point. Like, I could get a, enough cards and, like, teach someone how to play and just play for the sake of knowing how. Um, and that's something I'd consider, but I also am just looking at so many different card games right now. I finally, like, watched, uh, like, found a YouTuber uh, that explains uh, Digimon. The card game uh, in a way that makes sense. My, a friend of mine, Alex, suggested a, a YouTuber called Zenitsu, uh, but it's with an X. It's X A N I T S U, and it just makes sense now. <laughs> it just makes sense now. I revisited the tutorial after Digimon, and I was like, this game just makes sense now. So catch me out there trying to uh, make an ancient Garurumon deck, and that is why I got a uh, great legend. I also really want to mess with hybrids and grab Lobomon and Agumimon and all that. But back to these cards, we've got the battle is just beginning, Chloe. Cap, uh, capable Sniper Mana, I almost said Capsule. Burning Sentiments, Veronica. Having to read these cards sideways is bizarre. Celebration of Coexistence, Olga. Total Elimination, Veronica. We've got a uh, regular rare, Explosive Leader, Veronica. And our Paradox card is Successive Duel. 
I will say I'm definitely not like super excited opening these. Uh, the way I have been in the past with like Magic and Pokemon and and Vanguard, and I don't even mean on the videos. I mean like actually like my, my like myself. I'm like this is more this is like a curiosity for me. But I'm like I'm 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 looking at the cards and everything, and I'm just like this is interesting. This is all right. Nothing's like really grabbing me. Uh, maybe that's because I'm a sucker for like crazy foils or something like that and crazy full arts and this just mostly feels like I don't know, It's weird. It's it's weird because it's all stuff from the anime There's nothing like new to blow me away And I really think that could have been a part of it like it's not like whoa who's this new character and they like no I know you from the anime <laughs> Mission of a logicalist Tamaki Secret sign mana Piercing faith Chloe Shield Smash Yoshichika, Finishing Blow Chloe, that's my rare, it is Shield of Fortitude Yoshichika, and my Paradox card is Quiet Square. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 packs left, so I'll just start going a little bit quicker here. And we have Overwhelming Strength Olga, Precise Support Yukari, Desire to Grow Stronger Yoshichika, Air Transportation Yukari, Scarlet Whip Coming Apart Tamaki. Oh, 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 oh. Regular Rare Combination Play Yoshichika, and Paradox Card is Moody Poetry. Alright, we got Staying Smile Mana. Looking for Covenant Olga, Philanthropism Venus. Intervention of Obligation, Yoshichika, Straight Line, Chloe, Paving a Way to the Future, Mana, it's our regular rare, and our Paradox card is First Impact, featuring Ketzel, uh, Ketzel, or Ketzicottle, she calls Ketzi rather, not Ketzel, Ketzel is from <laughs> Dragon Tales, <laughs> that is a throwback, we got uh, Lady Like Day Off, Veronica, checking out new stuff, Chloe, Power Taken In, Athena, Frontline Commander, Veronica, Keeper and center back uh, tactics card there. Regular rare, a hero once again, Yoshichika. And moody poetry again for a paradox. Alright, we have Director Mobilized Veronica, Goddess of Wisdom and Strategy Athena, Independent Training Chloe, Sleeping Smile Artemis, Rescue Prayer Tamaki. Regular Rare, Over Trance of Despair, Olga, and Gigantamaki again as our Paradox card. Oh no, the wrappers are everywhere. They're getting ready to fall. My apologies for the shake. Such a small workplace I have going on here. Alright, Sword of Ice Mana. Thanking for hard work, Yukari. Tears of Joy, Athena. Gravity Star Tactics card. Goddess of Love and Beauty, Venus. What is our rare? Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Regular rare, built up trust, Tamaki, and Madness Jail. Alright, we've got Transcendent Field Vision, Olga. Reflection. On a chopping board, Ketsy. Ambush Bullet. Tail Talents of a Logicalist, Yoshichika. Uh, regular rare, observing Sept Septpia, Nemesis, and first impact with Ketsi once again. We've got three more packs to go. I'm not sure. Are there triple rares? Will I even get a secret? Is our, Are there secrets in this set? I do not know. We got checking out new stuff, Chloe. Power taken in Athena. Director mobilized Veronica. Covenant from the Heart Mana. Goddess of War of Valkyrie. Double rare, binding snake venom Yukari. So foil action there. And Trick and Torment. I have reason to believe I will not be pulling a triple rare if it's in this set. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. That's like the baseline for Bushi Road. Scornful Sister, or Sneer, Lucifer. <laughs> uh, teaching Nemesis. Trans Talent Yoshichika. Chloe Surprise Pan and Plan filled with holes. Handmade Chocolate Yukari. Got a regular rare, Race to the Scene Chloe, and our Paradox card is Decider Battle. Valkyrie is so dope. 
Valkyrie was always my favorite of the foreigners. All right, in our last pack, we've got Goddess of Wisdom and Strategy Athena, Independent Training Chloe, Sword of Ice Mana, Try Hard Yukari, Infer and Go Valkyrie. Is that a... Huh! It's an SR, so I guess it's like a special rare. Um, let me see. Growth and Gen Genesis card list. All right, so in this set, I guess the... Oh no, there were secret rares in this set. So the... so Okay, so SR is still pretty good. There are no triple rares. So SR is pretty good. And this is Arrogant Olga. I'm trying to find it on the card list. And I cannot. And you know what? It's fine. It doesn't matter right now. Or does it? Wait. Oh, that's because I'm looking at... <laughs> oh, that's funny. I am looking at the first uh, set. That's the problem. Arrogant Olga. Yeah, it comes in double rare or SR, which I guess would be super rare or special rare. Alright, well that's dope. Last pack magic there. This is a more interesting looking card. This kind of is more reminiscent of like a, an SP card, a special parallel rare from Vanguard. That's interesting. Um, and I'm gonna set that aside and quiet square is our last parallel card. So that is the entire set I've got my little parallel stack here my single rares my double rares, and then I've got my uh, My special rare here. So again The takeaway here is not Hey Jimbo, thanks for showing me this card game that I can't go out and buy actively in stores anymore I mean, I guess you could find it in the store that has old stock, but you know, usually they'll be selling that stuff off on eBay if they even have it. Um, but you can definitely find Luck and Logic stuff on eBay. The same way that I had found, you know, the old Dot .hack uh, enemy card game uh, packs and boxes on eBay. Um, but just a fun little throwback. And a reminder that, you know, card games can be, can be fleeting, you know? And I think a lot of people are aware of that. They choose to gravitate towards the most popular, uh, the most popular card games. You know, especially, you know, this something like this might make them feel validated. A game announced in 2015, launched in 2016, killed, uh, you know, a year or two later. You know, it's, it's, it's really unfortunate. It's, it's incredibly unfortunate. Um, but the anime is still out there. You can go watch the anime. I think it's on, I think it's on the Funimation app or, you know, however you get your anime. Uh, that's all up to you. Um, but yeah, you know, it's interesting to look back and see, like, what has come and gone, especially, you know, Luck and Logic being from Bushi Road, which, you know, they do, they, they kind of like, uh, the thing I like about them that's also kind of unreliable is that Bushi Road, like, will definitely, like, come up with an idea and they'll throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. Um, you know, I think what was Dragoborn was another one of them. And then Buddy Fight had its thing going for a long time. That didn't, I didn't, like, fail in my opinion, uh, but it ran its course. And, you know, Vanguard is still, it's still kicking with Overdress, it's, the reboot, it's, it's doing well. You know, some people complaining about the meta because they feel like it's, it's a little stale with, you know, the same decks doing well, but it's a new meta. You know, we've got the third booster set coming out later this year. We've also got Lyrical Monasterio with six different play styles, you know, being introduced to it. So it'll, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. If you're not having fun yet, don't worry, your time's coming. Your time is coming. Um, Vanguard hasn't let people down yet, in my opinion. Uh, even in times where people thought that the meta was boring, people still seem to to want to play it, and that's important. I mean, that's the sign. <laughs> that's the sign of a successful card game. People are like, "Oh man, I wish things were more exciting, but I still want to play this all the time with my friends." You know, that's 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 that is success. <laughs> that is that is that is success. Um, and unfortunately, Luck and Logic was not successful. But um, just remember, folks, if you see a new card game coming out and you're interested in it. You know, do the footwork. You know, pick up the pick up those first products. Look into look into it as it's being developed. If the news is made available to you, tell your friends about it. You know, tell your tell your local card shop owner about it. See if they'll pick it up and such, because it really us just comes down to us. It comes down to the community to to spread the word on these things and to get people wanting to play these games. Um, so make sure to do your part. No, make sure to do your part. If you love something, then then help it blossom. Uh, but for now, that's all, folks. Uh, hopefully, next video, I guess, is going to be 
uh, either one of those Digimon boxes or the Vanguard box, uh, whichever comes first, I guess. Uh, hopefully the Vanguard box comes first because that's like pretty overdue. Uh, Digimon will be making its debut on this channel, so I wouldn't really call it late. Uh, but again, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this look at, a, at an older card game that didn't quite make the cut. Um, and that's all for now, folks. Remember to support your local card shop, support the games you love, and have a good one. Jimbo out.